Hi, my mathematicians. I'm, I'm just want to review a little bit. You don't have to write this down. You should already have this in your notes. We're talking about division. And so with division, it is the repeated su subtraction. So we can subtract 8, subtract 8, subtract 8, subtract 8, but that's going to take us a long time if we're subtracting it from 864. So then we started to do partial products where we did 100 groups of 8, then we took out another 8 groups of 8, and we added them together to get our answer, 108. And then we used our area model to check our answer. Same with this one. We've got 100 groups of 6, then we've got 10 groups of 6, we've got 10 groups of 6, and another 3 groups of 6 to get our answer of 123. So today, I'm going to show you one more way, and this is the way your parents probably know best. So I'm going to turn my paper sideways um, just to help us line up our numbers because that's going to be really helpful. I encourage you, if you have your multiplication chart, have it out and also or pull it up online like Ms. Corbin has right here. So what you're going to want to remember, and this is what you're, you're going to write down on your paper, is we're going. the steps are we're going to divide, then we're going to multiply, then we're going to subtract, and then we're going to bring down. So the steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, and so we're going to be practicing this. We're probably going to do two problems this way. So our first problem is going to be 732 divided by 6. Okay, so this is where it's a little different. We're not going to do partial products. The first thing is we're going to look just right here how many times can get 6 go into 7? Well, it can only go in once, can it? We don't really need our, we don't really need our um, place value chart for that. We know that if we do it twice, it's 12, and that's too many. So we say that it can go in one time. Do you see where it says 6 times 1 right here? Oops, I lost my thing. So it says 6 times 1 down there at the bottom. So that means we put a 1. So that's our division. So now we're going to put a 1 right here. And then if we look over here, our next step is multiply. I'm going to put a little multiply sign right there just to help you remember. So we're going to do 1 times 6 is 6. And this is where we put our answer, right here. And then if you look, what's next? We subtract. So then we're going to put our subtract right here. All right. So 7 minus 6 is 1. So we've just done the hundreds. Okay, so we've done, there's 100 that can be, 100s that we just took out. Now the next step is bring down. So now we've got to bring down the next number. And that is a 3. Now we start the whole thing again until we can't bring down anymore. So now we got to now we have to divide. So now we're looking how many sixes can I get out of 13? So I go to my 6 row. Well, 12, 18 is too big, so I've got to go on my 12. How many groups of 6 is that? That's right. There's two. And that goes right here. So the 3 that I brought down, we've got our tens now. We've got our hundreds and now we've got our tens. So we just divided. Now we're going to multiply so then it's 2 times 6. Let me, where's my, let's do this. Now we multiply 2 times 6. We're going to do 2 times 6. So 2 times 6, we already know, is 12 because we just used our chart for that. Okay, we divided, we multiplied. Now what do we do? We subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we don't need to put it there. Now we've got to look. Is there anything else to bring down? Yes. So we draw our arrow to bring down, and we bring down our 2. And then we go back up to the top, and we start and ask ourselves again. Okay, how many groups of 6 can we take from 12? So what I like to think, what time 6 is going to get me closest to 12? Well, we're already there. We already know it's 2. Because 2 times 6. All right, so let me show you. So now we divided how many groups of 
Now we're going to multiply 2 times 6. Well, I, should, I guess I should have put one right here too. So now we do 2 times 6 is 12 again. We subtract. It's 0. And there's nothing left to bring down. So that means we have no remainder and we're done with our problem. So that means 732 divided by 6 is 122. So we're doing this way using our divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. First we found the hundreds, then we found the tens, and then we found the ones. And remember, this is just a different way of pulling out groups. So there is 122 groups of 6 and 732. So let's try another one. Let's, okay, so we're going to try this one. We're going to do 1,789 divided by 4. Now, yes, it's four numbers, but in fourth grade, we were going to be able to do four numbers. Um, but I'll help, you, I'll help you think out loud for this one. Remember, it's divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So let's go ahead and put our little multiply here. Now, the first thing that I'm going to ask myself, can, can we take any groups of 4 out of 1? No. So usually I'll just put a little 0 there just to help me know that, that nothing goes there. So then I look at the both numbers. Now I look at 17. So what times 4 gives me closest to 17? So I'm going to go to my 4 line, and I'm going to go until I get closest to 17. Oops, 20 is too big, so that means it's 16. So that means 4 times 4 is going to give me 16. So 4 goes up here. Now I have to multiply 4 times 4, which is 16. Now I subtract, subtract. 17 minus 6, 16 is 1, and if I look over here, I bring down, okay, so I bring down my 8, same question, what times 4 gives me closest to 18, how many groups of 4? So same thing, I can't get 20, I can only do the 16, so it's still another group of 4. So this time we were doing four hundreds, now we're doing four tens. So now we're going to multiply. So we divided, we multiply. Four times four is sixteen. We subtract. Eight minus six is two. That's zero. Now I got it. Do I have anything left to bring down? I do. So I've got to bring it down. We've got 29. So then I go to what times 4 gives me close to 29. So I'm going to keep going. I have 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got 28, and then it goes to 32. 32 is too big, so we've got to stay at the 28. So that means we have 7 groups of 4. All right, so now we multiply. 7 times 4 is 28. We subtract. 29 minus 28 is 1. So now I've got to ask myself, is there anything left to bring down? Nope. Can 4 go into 1? Nope. So that, remember, that means that is our remainder. So we put our remainder up here, remainder 1. So that means, what this is telling us, is that we can have 447 equal groups of 4 with one left over. So that it doesn't go evenly. This goes evenly. There's nothing left over. This one with the remainder does, means there's one extra. We can't make another group of 4. So the biggest helper with this one is knowing your multiplication facts. And if you don't, you have your multiplication table. And then remembering divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So for the next couple days, we're going to be practicing this. We did 
um, partial products for a couple days and now we're going to pick this one and then your job is to pick which one makes more sense to you. So after we've had a few days of practicing both ways, your job is to pick the one that makes most sense to you.